Hello guys, welcome back to another amazing video, Sauce Game. If you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, hit that notification button. We'll be dropping way more videos in the future. And without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, next you should introduce yourself to Mike Bruski. He probably have some work for you. All right, where is he? He owns a junkyard over in Riverside. You can't miss him. Hey. Okay, so let's go meet our guy boy there? Mike Bruski. Guy? guy at the body shop. Oh, Tommy. He's my buddy's nephew. He's kind of quiet, but let me tell you, the kid's some hell of a dancer. Saw him at the old dance hall in Easter Bay a couple of weeks ago. He had all the broads going nuts. Do I detect a hint of uh, jealousy? Are you kidding? I don't need no dance moves. I got charm, my friend. Here, I'll give you some of my lines. So maybe you won't have to spend so many nights with Rosie Palm and her five sisters. No, oh, that, that's low. That was a very hey, low one. remark. Hey, is that a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your pants. <laughs> Here, I got another one. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, this one never fails. Hey, baby, that's a nice outfit. It'll look good crumpled up at the foot of my bed in the morning. And this works for you. I seriously doubt any of these work for me. Oh, here, here's a good one. Hey, do you know the difference between sex and conversation? No? You want to go back to my place and talk? You got problems, you know that? How about this one? Why don't we go back to my place and play house? You be the door and I'll slam you. Oh, that was bad. Hey, when you measure seven soft, you don't have to be good with words. You get my Chill trip. out. There's, this dude's not measuring seven soft. Joe's a fat liar if you ask me. Look who's hey, here. Hey, Mikey boy, what's going on? Shit, Mike, you can wash your fucking hands once in a while. Now I need a fucking bed. Hey, I've been working. Working people occasionally get dirty, you know? Besides, I just wiped them off. With what? The same fucking rag you used to clean the toilet, you filthy fuck? Put a lid on it. What are you, from the health department, or you want to do some business? <laughs> business, of course. This here's my friend Vito. Vito, this is Mike Bruski. But don't shake his hand. I ain't got that much soap at home. Nice to meet you, Vito. Hey, uh, me and Vito go way back. He just come back from overseas and he needs some cash. So I figure he can help with your uh, supply problem. I can vouch for him. Uh-huh. Okay. Joe told you about our side business, right? Yeah. I only want regular cars, nothing fancy. You get a cut of every car. I take as many as I can handle. And don't bring no cops around, okay? They follow you here. I don't know your ass from Jesus. You get me? Got it. God damn it, Mike. You put your grubby mitts on my fucking coat. I paid a fortune for this thing. All right, calm down or I'll stick them up your ass, you sissy. You know, dry cleaning costs Jesus these days. Christ. Plenty. And who knows if they can even get this filled out. You shut up. Vader, listen to me. I need a Walter Coop today. I got a few people looking for parts, but I can't find a car. Because you don't know where to look. Every time I drive down Hunters, I see one parked by a bar there. I think the place is called the Lone Star. Isn't that a Moulinian neighborhood? I'll stick out like a sore thumb. All right, look, I'll give you 350 bucks for it. It's worth the risk, right? 400. <laughs> All right, deal. Avito, come on, let's go on the ammo. Meantime, I'll be sending you the cleaning bill for my coat. Yeah, I'll change my address, you rat prick. Okay, listen up. This is your maiden voyage, so to speak. So try not to fuck it up, eh? Here, Vito, take this, just in case. Hey, nice. Hey, Mike, you mind if I test this thing out here? Sure. Knock yourself out. Here you go. Aim for that old wreck over there. Oh, I was trying to get on the first shot, but got on the second. I mean, it's still good enough. Good enough. Oh yeah, that both reminds me. Fuck you. All right, that's enough shooting. We got work to do. Oh yeah, back to the conversation. There's no way. Fat Joe is seven inches All right, soft. Go out the way we came in and get on the main highway going west. Don't go back through the city. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to turn the radio off. Um, I did get hit with a copyright claim on my last video because of the music in the game. 
I guess it's more of a they they're doing leasing on the music. Go they're right not up here. paying to purchase it. I mean, some games they allow it, some games they don't. So how's it feel to be back? Good. I feel a lot better with some money in my pocket. Hey, what's the rush? Money don't buy you happiness, you know. Get the fuck out of here. I was just fucking with you. Don't worry about the money. This little job is just the beginning. Pretty soon you'll be rolling in it. So, Sand Island's still the same shithole it was when I left? No, no, the place actually ain't too bad now. Oh, shit. How the hell that happened? All the moolies flew south for the winter. Of course it's still a shithole, Vito. You've only been gone a couple of years. Gonna take a lot longer than that for that neighborhood to turn around. Them people multiply like rabbits. What are you gonna do? It's even worse than when we was kids. They even got some kind of gang there now. What's their fucking name? Uh, the Beamers, the Boomers, something like that. I don't fucking know. Oh, that's just fucking great. Hey, what are you worried about? They're animals. All they do is sell dope and kill each other. They ain't gonna bother a guy like you. And even if they do, that's why I gave you that pistol. Oh, by the way, you're carrying a gun now? What's the deal with that? Can't do business without it these days, especially in this fucking neighborhood. You, uh, really know how to inspire confidence, you know that? Alright guys, welcome back. I just wanted to edit out all that drive time, because it's, it's just a bunch of drive time for baby over there. Be careful. Do it quick and get the fuck out of there. Break a window if you have to and go. I'll wait for you back at Mike's. Hey, what if I run into problems? Then you deal with them. Look, consider this a test. If you fail, I hear the hiring down at the factory. Right, just asking. Good luck, pal. I see you back at Mike's. Alright, let's get this job over with. Ooh. In the wrong button. Oh, hey, shit. what the fuck are you doing over there? Come on, huh. oh, Come on shit. little boy. I ain't no little boy. Ah. Oh. Ah. Call me a little boy. Hey! Hey, what you doing, motherfucker? Gosh. All right. Okay, that was a little too disrespectful. I heard him say something about my mama. We got to end this quickly for that. Come on. Oh. Oh my God, guys! I almost died right then and there. I should have checked. I should have checked my bullets. Okay, let's reload real quick. So this is something I, I done in the old games. I don't know how many people have actually done this. Shotgun right here. Pick up the shotgun. Kick this door down. I don't know. Yeah. See, I had a feeling he was gonna try to pull out a gun. There, right there, hundred-seven dollars, easy. I don't know how many people know about that or how many people have done it, but that's a quick way to make some quick cash pick lock this. I want to get the full value of it. But yeah, $107. That easy. See, that was pretty simple. Bust in, got what we needed, got some little extra money, got out of there. And I'll see y'all back when we get to the shop. Alright guys, here we are back with the car. I mean, it's not too banged up. I got in a couple accidents on the way here. Hey, hey, mission accomplished. How'd it go? Yeah, piece of cake. Except for the fact that the car belonged to a bunch of moolies who immediately tried to kill me right after you left. Ah, uh, probably the bombers. Hunters their neighborhood. Guys like that, you don't have to worry about them. They just hang out on the street, talk shit, steal shit, and smoke dope. 
Let's see what we got here. Wow, nice. No stains. Clean. The lowlife get the money for this. Probably stole it himself. It's nice, though. How much did I say I'd give you for it again? Six hundred. <laughs> oh, I like you, buddy, Joe. Here's your four hundred bucks. Stop by again, okay? We can do some more business. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I see you, Mike. I'll stop by again real soon. All Me right, too. boys. I'll see you later. Here's your 300 bananas. I'm taking my cut as the middleman. Next time, you're on your own. All right. Thanks, Joe. All right, let's go home. I'm exhausted. I mean, technically, I did make 400 bucks because the extra 100 I stole, but we're not going to talk about that right now. Alright, so that, that wasn't too bad. We did our first job with Joe so far. This is quick in and out, getting a car. Basically paid Joe $100 for a pistol. He didn't really do nothing but give us a gun. But, um, I think it was a pretty successful day. take the highway, Vito. Alright, you pulled off that job without fucking it up. Nice going. Yeah, but I almost got my ass kicked. I didn't live through the war just to die in Sand Island. Hey, that's all part of the deal, pal. Take it or leave it. Besides, it ain't like you're qualified for anything else. Uh, I guess you're right. Don't worry about it. It's all gonna be a piece of cake. I like that about, about the Italian Mafia. They're always like, forget about it. So, uh, what's the story with Bruski? Mike's a good guy to know. He's a little grouchy, but he's always got a scam going. He deals with stolen cars mostly. Spent some time inside a while back. I heard he used to stick up gas stations back in the day. You gonna make him pay the cleaning bill for your jacket? Nah, I'll let that one slide. I do a lot of business with the guy. Plus, he's got one hell of a temper. One time we was at the track and some mitt spilled a beer on his wind ticket. Mike beat the shit out of him till he went blind in one eye. For a lousy ten bucks, you believe that shit? Sounds like kind of a scumbag. Hey, you just got an out of hand for these people. And Mike's a pussycat compared to some of the guys I met since you shipped out. You'll see. And honestly, we just need hey, 600, 600 or 1600. Here? I don't want to leave this thing out in the street. Yeah, that's why you're parking your car next to mine in the garage. The streets are full of criminals these days. Yeah, the neighborhood ain't what it used to be, huh? So far for our sister and mom, we only need $1,600. We already raised $400 so far. It's still kind of adjustment to get used to the controllers because I play mostly on PlayStation. And how the X buttons are both different. But I did notice one thing in the cutscene that when he was under the car, his voice kind of changed. And I noticed that about this game that the updated version, it's more of a. The voice is kind of changes with what they're doing. That's a pretty cool add on or little change. About to take a sandwich. Turn this light off. And call it a day. Go to sleep and see what Joe got planned for the next day. Chapter 3 Enemy of the State. In Joe's apartment, February 10th, 1945. I'm not even going to question how I woke up naked. Just falling asleep in Joe and dress me. Let's get a change real quick. Oh. That's pretty cool. So I guess with the game, I kind of got the different outfits. This is um, Tommy from um, Mafia 1. It's pretty cool. Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. Why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, bye, Mama. Mio bambino. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's also look at um Lincoln's. Oh, I actually like this. And it kind of fits because they're both in the military. 
But we're gonna go with our original outfit. She's so oh. nosy. Oh, they're spying on people, trying to listen to the door. You don't turn that crap down. I'm Earlier gonna call story, the cops. We you here at Press Radio News: the massive bombing by U.S. and British air forces of the German city. For dude with a lot of money, Joe lives with some pretty crazy people around him. All right, but let's pull our. Oh, we definitely have to drive Lincoln's car. So this is Tommy's car. Because he was a cab driver. If y'all if y'all haven't played Mafia One, he was a cab driver. But we're definitely gonna drive Lincoln's car because it doesn't fit in this time era. And the cars like this did not exist at all. So first one to own it, basically. It drives pretty crazy though, it don't really drive too good. Just hear this engine purr. Oh yeah, this drives fast. Yeah, this car is fast. I'm definitely gonna customize this. Once we have some money, some pretty good money settled up on us, I'm gonna see if we could customize it, put faster tires on it, see what other customizations we can make to it. This is gonna be my baby. Oh. Are you serious? I just scratched the whole side of my car for nothing. Alright guys, we got a little way to go, all the way down there. Um, I'll see y'all once we get back to, once we get to the location. Okay, I'm back guys, just to show y'all real quick, I'm going 120 in this car. That's the... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, okay, I don't know if y'all saw that, but I almost went 140. There's not a single car in this game that could hit that speed. But yeah, that, that's this is something I wanted y'all to notice about this car. My hubcap just popped off, actually. But um, anyways, we just got here, guys, and... Let's see what Papalardo has for us. But that car is a beast. I can't wait to put more um, customizations and upgrades to it. Oh! Close the door. It's windy. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papalotto. Oh, yeah? Why? My name is Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayato at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well, you all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. So you need a job, huh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment to unload. Steve will show you around. Now scram, my steak's getting cold. Uh, for me. All right, let's see what kind of work you got for us. Come on, move. I'll give you the beats right here now. Load this pile of crates onto that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. If something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. I am not loading all these crates for ten dollars. Look how slow he's moving. Yeah, I'm definitely not doing this. Ten dollars for each crate. Well, not even each crate. If it was ten dollars each crate, I would, 
I would definitely stick to it, but ten dollars for overall. That's not a good deal, and we're not gonna take that deal, guys. The door's open. Papa Lardo could kiss my ass. Hey, this dude. You're done. Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here then. Don't show your face around here again. Yeah, don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait, you said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit. Nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. He said Barbaro Corporation. Joe does not have a big business. But I already know you're going, Steve. You follow me. What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who want to load crates if he works with Joe? You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> my mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? Nah, go ahead. Now, where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. Might not be home. That wouldn't be good. Hi, right, Joe. Hey, this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. A good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh-huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. I'll talk to you later. Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. I need someone to give them a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect at least 150 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking it in the Sierra, meeting new people. Easy fucking money, eh? What do you say? Yeah, hey, it's better than lugging crates around. All right, then. Get going. Okay, guys. I know this is a bit of a change. Um, kind of move my mic around a little bit. Kind of mess with it. So hopefully this doesn't sound too bad, but this is just a little adjustment. I guess he's the first one on my list. <clears throat> I'm here to collect the fee for the barber. Hey, what kind of game you playing here? The kind where you pay what you owe and you don't get hurt. You got a problem with that? I got a problem with you. Now get out of here before I kick your ass. Oh, no, no. That's not how this is going to happen. <coughs> That's not how this is going to Oh. Come on, you little baby. Oh. Okay. Never mind. You might you might beat me up. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. You can keep your money. Psych. Come on. Uh, put your hands on me. 
You're lucky I, I forgot it's B money. instead of X. I was clicking X. Yeah, I was like, oh, why am I losing this? Consider. This guy already paid. Uh, I wanted to push him again. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Uh, yeah. I must have forgot or something. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. Hey, Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Sure, here it is. I don't want no problems. Don't if leave I, it until the last minute next time. If I have to pay for a barber, I'm gonna get a fresh cut. Okay, this dude don't even need a haircut. So I, I hey, bet Bob, you I'm gonna face problems. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole, I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try then, asshole? Alright. Oh. Man, I'm tired of people getting the first punch on me. Come on. Come on. Whoa. Talking all that smack. What you gonna do to me? Come on. Uh. Teach him a fucking lesson. Who wants who wants next? Who wants next? I got fifty okay. bucks for everyone's next. Anybody else? Got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? I didn't think so. Everyone else wanna pay for the barber now, right? So I just I just checked the time guys. It's probably gonna be the the ending part of this video. Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watch you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? Yeah, right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. Hey, say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, will do. I'll see you later. There's barely my ten bucks in there, I too. I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's. My ten bucks better be in there too. But alright guys. Um I'm a, I'm about to record another video back to back to back. I'm gonna try to get in the habit of making daily videos. So um expect the video to be coming out like daily every now on. Starting from now on. Um but um yeah. So if you if you haven't yet please like, subscribe, hit that notification button. We'll be dropping way more videos in the future. And tell me how y'all feel about this new mic change. Like I it's not a different mic. I mean, I got a, I got a really good mic. I got a really good setup overall. I spent a lot of money on it, but um, I just kind of put it in a different way. So hopefully it sounds better this way. And our video, all the videos in the future are going to be with this type of way. Um, but um, thank you for the thank you for all the support. We had 150 subscribers, and I'm thinking about doing a giveaway once we hit 200 subscribers. So keep keep telling your friends about us. Let's keep boosting up these numbers, and I'll see you on the next video.